Okay, now we're going to get into some even more complicated problems with order of operations and fractions. So here we have 9 eighths divided by 2 thirds plus 1 twelfth. Now order of operations says parentheses has to be done first, so we have to take care of this parenthesis. In order to add these fractions, we need a common denominator. So between 3 and 12, our common denominator here would be 12. Our first fraction, I mean our second fraction rather, doesn't need anything because it's already over the common denominator. But on the first fraction, we have to multiply top and bottom by 4. So 2 times 4 would be 8. Now we can go ahead and we can add these two together. So 8 twelfths plus 1 twelfth would be 9 twelfths. And I'm going to recopy everything else. Now we could go ahead and simplify this if we wanted to, but it, it won't really matter. We can wait to do that at the end. Uh, our last step should always be to simplify if possible. Now we're doing this division, and remember we don't divide fractions. Instead, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we need to flip the second one. And now look what happens when we do that. We can cancel 9 goes into 9 one time and 9 goes into 9 one time. And also we can cancel our 8 and our 12 because 4 will go into 8 two times and 4 will go into 12 three times. So now when we multiply, 1 times 3 is 3 and 2 times 1 is 2. So our answer here would be 3 halves, which normally is a fine answer, but um, especially because this being a basic math class, we don't like to leave things in improper form. So in order to change that over to the mixed number, we need to go ahead and do the division. 2 will go into 3 one time with a remainder of 1. So to write this as a mixed number, we would need to write it as 1, 1 whole, and then 1 out of 2 left over. So we would really want to write this as 1 and 1 half. All right, let's try this one. This one's a, even a little bit more complicated. Here we have 3 fourths squared minus 1 half minus 1 sixth divided by 4 thirds. So first things first, we must do order of operations properly, so we have to do our parentheses. In order to subtract these fractions, we need to have a common denominator. So between 2 and 6, our denominator would be 6. Now our second fraction is fine, but the first fraction, we have to multiply top and bottom by 3. So we would need to change that into 3, 6. Now 3, 6 minus 1, 6 is... 2, 6. Now I'm going to recopy everything else. So we're just doing one part at a time. All right, so now we have 3 fourths squared minus 2 over 6 divided by 4 thirds. So next comes exponents. So we need to multiply 3 fourths times 3 fourths, which would be 9 over 16 and then we're going to recopy everything else. Now, we have subtraction and we have division. So we need to do the division before the subtraction. And remember, we don't divide fractions. Instead, we need to flip and multiply. So we would really want to change this to 2, 6 times 3 over 4. And now we could simplify that. 2 would go into 2 one time, 2 would go into 4 two times, 3 would go into 3 one time, and 3 would go into 6 two times. So if I were now to multiply those, 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. Recopy everything else. So now we have 9 sixteenths minus 1 fourth. We need a common denominator, which in this case would be 16. I'd have to multiply the second fraction by 4, and so now we have 9 sixteenths minus 4 sixteenths, which would be 5 sixteenths, and this is our final answer. You cannot get ahead of yourself in these problems. Do one portion at a time, recopy everything else until you work your way to the end.